It's an article of faith in Israel that its army is the most moral in the world, but this footage of Israeli soldiers suggests anything but. Here, soldiers film themselves bragging about the loot they've seized. <laughs> this man says he's taking this jewelry home to his girlfriend. Also in Gaza, a soldier trashes a shop in Jabalia refugee camp. <laughs> In Janine refugee camp in the occupied West Bank, a soldier smokes and mocks a Palestinian detainees. The Israeli army says it will investigate the videos, but almost every day more emerge, often shot by the soldiers themselves. In the occupied West Bank, we don't have to go far to find examples of Israeli forces looting the properties they search. Yusuf Amro's house was raided in early December. The soldiers haven't left much intact. They forced him to open his safe and then stole the contents, worth about $10,000. I reported the theft to the civil authorities and the official there told me that they would investigate the matter and try to recover the stolen items. I hope for a positive outcome. However, what I value more than the money is gone. And what he values more than money is his children's future. One of his sons was killed in the raid, a keen sportsman who will never use the gym the family built up over years. Even here, in the center of Ramallah, Israeli soldiers raided this shop and stole two iPhones, according to the owners. Since October the 7th, the Israelis have mounted several raids a day across the occupied West Bank. And increasingly, we are hearing of Israeli soldiers looting Palestinian property. Now, the Palestinians here in the occupied West Bank come under Israeli military rule. The Israeli military says it is investigating the incidents, but if you speak to people here, they'll tell you that they're not confident that that will either change or find anything. Imran Khan, Al Jazeera, Ramallah. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.